Haddonfield. Not the best place to raise a family. All the Michael Myers talk will turn your child into a depressed addict. That's the popular opinion. Not mine. Haddonfield had been nothing but good to me. The entire Michael situation was misunderstood. It was obvious that he was acting out, desperate for attention he never received from his parents. His poor sister Judith and even his peers. I know what it's like to be an outcast. If our lost souls were to ever cross paths, I know from the depths of my heart, the kinship would be indestructible. Hey! <laughs> you scared me half to death, <laughs> slut! <laughs> you should have seen your face, Jenna. I was the best. Whatever, shut up. Aw, so where are you headed? Oh, you idiot. Where else would I be headed? You know what I mean, bitch. What are the plans tonight? It's a big night for you. How many times have I told you Halloween is every day for me? Yes, I know, but we all know tonight is your Christmas. So what's the plan, ma'am? Well, it turns out I actually do have something special planned for tonight. Ooh, when don't you on Halloween? <laughs> Tonight's different. Stars are in alignment. No, Jenna, not with this Michael Myers crap. It's not crap. Bree, for the first time in years, the stars are in perfect alignment. Jenna, doing a little ritual with the stars is not going to bring him back to you. And what if it does? And what if it does? Jenna, do you realize how insane this is? You're in love with a serial killer. Okay, whoever said love. And a dead one at that. Bree, come on, just help me tonight. No! Bree, come on. You and the stars combined? This ritual has to work. Work? You think I want a seven-year-old knife-wielding teen murdering psychopath to appear for us? Like, come on, I'm not that fucked. Come on, just one more time. This is the only time in years the stars are gonna be in alignment. And with my parents at Yosemite and my sister away at Hillcrest, it's perfect. Look, if it doesn't work, I promise I will let this whole Michael Myers thing go, okay? Okay, come on, I have no one else. Fine, but after this it stops. No more of this crazy Halloween shit. I mean, I'd like to do something normal for once, you know, like trick or treat or get high. Tonight was the night I helped Michael. <laughs> so, how do we resurrect this old brute? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> I like how you didn't bring any books with you. <laughs> Who needs books? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> oh, I hope you brought another pumpkin since carving is the first step. Don't worry, I brought you one. You know, I never get used to it no matter how many times I see it. You definitely have the most Halloween decorations up every year. Does that count the year-long ones I have in my room? I can't believe you still have this. And it's up like some sort of art piece. Yeah, why wouldn't I? My parents just keep it in an old box. Treasures like that need to be displayed. It's historical. I'll give you that. As are the jack-o'-lanterns. Well, mine definitely looks high. <laughs> it's perfect. So now that these are complete, what's the next step? The seance. Now this next step is very important. Close your eyes. And let the energy of tonight engulf you. <laughs> okay, come on. This is serious. Okay. Okay. Now, let 
Let the power of the stars take you. Feel the power of All Hallows Eve. Tonight is a very sacred night. It's the one night where the spirits of the living and dead are joined. In ancient Celtic times, sacrifices were given to these spirits. <laughs> are we gonna sacrifice your cat? No. You! so long for this. We are one, Michael. I can help you. Please. <laughs> 